So now the second half of the experiment. So again, we begin with, what we're going to do now is we begin with the filament with the mice and heads decorated to start out with. So here's our filament in black, our actin filament in black, and our represented here are arrowheads or our myosin heads decorating this actin filament. Now again, we're trying to figure out now which end is plus, which end is minus. At this point, we can't really tell. Okay? So what you do now is in this experiment, so if, this, if you have this established, now what you want to do is introduce into this system, so in a test tube for example, you would go ahead and simply introduce G-actins. So individual globular actin that have been activated with ATP and you're going to see on which end of this filament is growing. So these actin filaments are going to either attach to this end or this end. And that's what you visualize or what we visualized under the microscope. And it turns out that the part that extends was the barbed end. So this end here actually extended. Okay? So this back end extended. And the way we knew that it was extending is because the myosin heads were also increasing on this side. Whereas over here, it was either stable or falling apart. So that has ended up turning out and establishing that the pointed ends, so the direction that the points of these arrowheads are pointing, is the minus end. And the part that extended, which was the barbed ends, was now considered the plus end. So the plus end is where we have growth. So where individual G-actin monomers, when activated with ATP, actually go and bind in order to extend this filament. And it's on the minus end here where we will actually lose G-actin monomers. They will be cutting off or falling off. And the reason behind this, because again, as I mentioned, so G-actins with ATP will be added to the, to the filament in order to extend it. But over towards the minus end of the filament, there is a bunch of ADP G-actins. So ADP G-actins are subject to coming off at the minus end, and ATP G-actins are going to be added to the filament. And again, this addition is happening on the plus end. And we know it was the plus end because of this barbed end. So utilizing the myosin heads, the barbed end of this arrowhead figure was extending, whereas the pointed end was shrinking. And that was how we, why we established the plus end versus the minus end.